Hey guys, in this video I'll go over the uh, new AOKP ROM uh, features uh, as of the date uh, 10, 13, 2012. And uh, since my last video on the AOKP ROM, there has been many features which have been added to this ROM, so I wanted to make another video about this AOKP ROM. And uh, yeah, let's get started um, with the uh, ROM by taking a look at most of the features. I'll, I'll, just for the sake of it, I'll go over most of the features which have been added since day one for this ROM. So before doing that, let's let me just increase the brightness a little bit, and uh, so that you can see the text clear on the phone. Yeah. And first things first, let's take a look at the version numbers here under the system settings. So let's take a look at about phone, and as you can see, the kernel has updated to the version 3.0.46 so that's a new kernel and now the AOKP ROM is based off the latest AOSP 4.1.2 code source code so the OS just so you know the version numbers it's now 4.1.2 and uh, one of the biggest changes of the 4.1.2 is as I've noticed is if you want to you know expand the notification you would pinch in or pinch out but now in 4.1.2 you can just use a single finger drag the notification up or down just drag it up or down um, to expand the notification you just need to get a hang of it to get used to it and uh, yeah just a couple of tries would you know get you a hang of it so that's one major feature expanding the notifications with just one finger and other than that I mean oh, you know I have uh, let's go under system settings and let's see what has been changed uh, let's take a look at the ROM control. This is where the major customization options are located. And the very first thing is um, by default the vibrate is on when you expand or uh, you know collapse the notifications on the screen. But now you can disable that. So you can disable the vibration. Uh, whether if you expand or not disable the notifications you also have various other options like kill all button um, let me bring up the uh, multitasking um, window or the recently opened tabs for some reason the home button is not working okay yeah there you go so in the recent app window you now have the kill all button uh, to close all the apps whatever you have opened the most recent apps and uh, let's go again under general settings and uh, that's the enable kill all button and you do have various other options added to the tablet UI as well previously there were only two or three options for the tablet UI but now we have more customizations included for the tablet UI mode and uh, you also have the GL panel view which takes up the whole screen like on the left side you would have all the settings and the right side you would give get the options for the setting whatever you have chosen so quite more options about the tablet UI that's for the general UI and let's go under lock screen and this has been the feature I've been asking about disable the vibration on the lock screen and finally has been added so now you have the ability to you know turn on or off the lock screen vibration which is very good because I generally don't like web vibration on the phone so that's one good thing and you do have various other basic lock screen options like changing layouts of the music uh, having a um, unlock pin weather calendar options and various other options as you would expect you know in a AOSP style ROM so that's the lock screen options and you do have the navigation bar now if you would uh, be able to add custom widgets to your navigation bar that's one other option and you do have the same old uh, battery options you do have the toggle options um, you do get the uh, signal options a new option has been added alternate signal layout and you do have the LED controls and you do I mean expect uh, all these basic options with the uh, ROM you do have the ability to add custom vibrations as you have in the iPhone and yeah all the other options are same I mean overall 
the look of the ROM is pretty pretty uh, good I haven't had any problems and also they say that the Play Store is updated so the version is 3.9.16 so that's the updated Play Store uh, version and um, let me get onto the updated Gmail app so let me open up an email here let's click on show pictures and now the entire uh, email you can pinch to zoom so entire email fits in one page when you open it but you can zoom in and zoom out by pinching in and pinching out uh, and that's one major feature which has been added to the gmail in the uh, android 4.1.2 so this is based off the leaked uh, gmail app uh, so you can pinch in and pinch out which is quite good uh, much like the iphone uh, mail so that's one other feature and to get these two options you would actually have to uh, flash the updated Google Apps so uh, you should not be flashing the Google Apps which you have been flashing earlier but there is an updated version of the Google Apps for this specific ROM so that's for uh, this uh, two apps uh, how to get uh, to those apps and other than that I have uh, not notice the major 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 uh, features added to this ROM so I've gone through all of them I've co covered most of them and also one more thing the uh, loud in call volume it has been fixed so you'll not be able to hear uh, the loud call volumes enough so that's it for this video guys so if you like the video uh, please give a thumbs up it helps and um, do subscribe for more videos